Number 93. The distribution of molecular velocities in a sample of helium is shown in figure 9.34. If the sample is cooled, will the distribution of velocities look more like uh, that of H2 or of H2O? And then explain your answers. Okay, so I pulled up figure 9.34 here, and specifically we only care about a sample of helium, which is this curve right here, right? This is the helium guy. Now, they said that this sample was cooled. So now we have to basically, don't mind this, they don't want you to worry about xenon, krypton, argon, or neon. We only care about this graph right here. Now, the consensus, you know, the idea here is what's going to happen to this graph once helium gets cooled? Well, there's two options. Does a cooling graph increase? And does it keep going up and up and up as you cool? Or... Vice versa, does it drop down? Yeah, you got it. When you cool, you will start going down, down, and down. All right? So, when the, you know, when the molecule cools, the new curve will start becoming, you know, under the curve that is given. And what's going to happen is that when any type of molecule cools, it will cool in such a way that it resembles a molecule, or we'll say acts like a molecule, right? So when I say resemble, I mean acts. Uh, acts like a molecule, resembles a molecule. Who has... A uh, greater mass. So the idea here is that when you're cooling, you're always going to resemble a molecule or act like a molecule that has a greater mass than you, because when you when you know molecules who have a greater mass, their velocities decrease, and that's the idea of being under the general curve of whatever molecule you're talking about. So your velocity is going to start dropping. And that's what happens when your mass increases, right? The bigger you are, the slower you're going to move around your container. So now we just have to find out, okay, well, here we got helium. We have H2 and we have H2O. Helium, if we look on the periodic table, helium roughly has a molar mass of 4 grams per mole. If I look on the periodic table to find out what hydrogen's mass is, right? And that's what we're doing, right? We're talking about molar masses, the mass that's on the periodic table. If I just add up H2, roughly, you know, we'll get 2 grams per mole. Each hydrogen weighs 1. You got 2 here, so 2 times 1 is 2. And then if we find out the molar mass of H2O, roughly oxygen is 16, 2 hydrogens. So I'm going to say that this is... 18 grams per mole. So the idea here is that since helium is starting off at 4 and it's going to cool, it's going to act like a molecule who has a greater mass. So it's just got to be greater than 4. H2 is less than 4. H2O is greater than 4. So this is the greater mass. So the question was saying... Will the distribution of velocities look more like that of H2 or of H2O? And it will look more like H2O because when you're cooling, it resembles a molecule that has a greater mass because the velocities are going to be slower. And that's what cooling is all about. The velocities will be decreasing, basically. Because when you're cooling, you're decreasing the temp. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Really hope this makes sense. Love talking to you guys. Let me know what's going on. Talk to you guys later, all right? See you in the next video. Bye-bye.